The Bible says, he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. Action is the foundation key to all success. Get this concept in your mind. First, you accept the fact that failure is an event, it's not a person. That yesterday really did end last night. And today is a brand new day. God divided your life into 24-hour modules because that's all you could stand. Optimism is the foundation of success. Say that with me. Optimism is the foundation of success. Back to the statement. If you think you can, you can. If you think you won't, you really won't. Secondly, you need to understand that you are what you are and where you are because you think like you think. When you change your thinking, you change your actions. And when you change your actions, you change your future. Change your thought life and you change your world. So the question is, what are you putting into your mind? The old computer phrase, garbage in, garbage out. Stop watching eight hours of toxic television. Fake news. Why do you want to torment yourself with that garbage? Everything is impossible until someone does it. Think about that. Men couldn't fly for centuries until the Wright brothers in 1903 completed the first controlled hour power flight in K K Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and they flew for about one minute in a contraption that no one would get in today. But because they broke the thought barrier now, you can fly around the world on any airplane you want to. We celebrate warriors. We enjoy the winner. We're irritated and frustrated with the whiner. And who can use a wimp? Each of them have earned the title. But each of them have this thing in common. They earned the title based upon how they responded to struggle. How can we crown someone a champion unless we've seen them struggle and overcome to be a winner? How would we know the valor and courage of a warrior unless he's endured the adversity of the battle? How do you know what the wimp is until you see them put their faith in fear and ignore a problem hoping somebody else is going to solve it? The reason that I choose these four characters is because I believe that they all have something in common with each and every one of us, and that is in this life you will have struggle. Turn on the news and all you're going to hear them report on is struggle. There's the global conflict, the economic conflict, the political conflict. There's all kinds of struggles, great and small, in this world. Some of you in this place today are struggling with questions that you need an answer to and you don't know where to turn. Others of you are struggling with needs and you're not sure how they're going to be provided for. Others of you are struggling with problems that you're certain are too big for you to solve. In this life there is going to be struggle and when they come, what will you do? What role will you play? Will you engage like the warrior? Will you complain like the whiner? Will you ignore it like the wimp? Or will you be what God created you to be, which is the winner? You were bought with the blood of Jesus Christ so that you could stand in this sanctuary today and declare, I am more than a conqueror through Christ who gives me strength. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays, because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a, a hard, thing understand I hate to run and, and, and what makes me so crazy why do you run if you hate it I don't want to take showers and eat either I hate that too that's life man 
It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I hated going to school, so guess what? I was dumb as shit. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness.